Hello everybody, this is Pun Frugal Streamer, and I'm going to talk about Touch Portal. Now, if you do not know about Touch Portal, Touch Portal is a PC uh, remote app that you can download at Google Play or I, uh, Apple Store. It is uh, compatible with most Android and iOS devices. Uh, you can use it on your phone, you can use it on your tablet. So this is what's so great about Touch Portal, uh, is it does a lot of the things pretty much everything that Stream Deck can do, but it does it at a much cheaper price, okay? Whereas you're paying 150 bucks for Stream Deck, you'll end up paying 10 bucks or 10 pounds in, your, in the UK and Europe uh, for uh, Touch Portal, okay? So it saves you a lot of money, gives you the same functionality, and it uses a device that you probably already have instead of having to go and buy something existing and it uses your wireless connection uh, to connect to your computer. So what I want to show you is how to install it and how to set it up. And if you desire to go to the pro version, which is what you pay for, because this program is free, really. Um, if you want to upgrade to the pro version, um, then I'll show you how to do that. Uh, because there's a lot of people that's been asking for an actual setup video uh, a lot of reviews, including my own, really didn't cover how to install it. So that's what this video is going to be about. So stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is going to be a straight walkthrough because I have uninstalled it. I have not downloaded the latest version and it will be um, pretty much straightforward with the way the video is going to go here. So first thing you do, if you don't know what the website is, just do a Google search for Touch Portal. Uh, it'll come up, um, and that is the website there, touch-portal.com, a hey, frugal streamer video. So let's go to the website. Pretty snazzy website, I might add. I like it. All right, so it gives you a lot of things. Kind of gives you a promo on what uh, Touch Portal actually does on the website. But go down to the bottom here to get the latest version, whether you want uh, you have Mac or Windows. And then this is the links that will take you to the Google Play or the Apple Store. So version 1.5 on Windows, version 1.4 on Mac OS is the current versions. So I'm going to download version 1.5. Uh, version 1.5 added um, Streamlabs OBS functionality, in case you were wondering. So you download it. And we will run the installer here. Let's download it. Okay, so it should open once it's completed its cycle here. But it is pretty straightforward. Uh, it is an executable file, so it's just a matter of running through the install wizard once it decides to uh, open up. All right, so once you get it, just run through the wizard and pick your place that you want to install it. Make a start menu folder if you want and go ahead and install it. It's a small program, runs pretty quickly. And you should hopefully find it right here. So here is your program. Now, fortunately, it has used all of the buttons that I've already had set up. So it is that easy. This is the Windows app. Now, to install it on, the, on your mobile device, you're going to need to go to the Google Play Store. And so what I will do now, I have a recorder on my uh, tablet, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so first thing you need to do, and in case if you have an Android device like me, you go to the Google Play Store, do a search for Touch Portal. I'm sure it works the same way on Apple Play, uh, Apple Store. When you get to the app, then you need to install it. Uh, and, of course, you download, and then it'll install. And 
you know, then you'll be ready to open it. Now, remember, um, this is free, but there is limitations to it. You only get one page, and I think the matrix size is four by three. Uh, to when you get the pro version, you get unlimited pages, and I don't know how many buttons you could have on a page, but it's ridiculous. I have like 50 on one of my pages. So once you get it installed, then it will automatically come up, and you can then uh, use it. Uh, to connect. Uh, the key to this is making sure that the uh, port and the IP address matches your streaming PC, which you can find on the desktop app of Touch Portal. Really easy. So you just match those up and then they should be able to connect. And when it connects, you should see all of your different button options that you have available on your uh, desktop as it uh, links up and gives you all of your different pages, which is really nice. And this is why I love Touch Portal so much. Now, simply to purchase it, you just click on the little card up at the top and it will take you to the uh, purchase button where you can then go and buy the code uh, to unlock the full version. And it's really that simple. It's nothing uh, difficult at all. All right, guys, that is it for the Touch portal tutorial i hope you enjoyed it go out there give the free version a shot see if it works well for you and if it does and you feel like you want to continue using it then you know you can buy the full version for 10 pounds 10 euro or 10 dollars depending on where you're at in this world but like i said it's a really good program and i think it will serve a lot of streamers a good purpose for being able to control their software so like i said there's no hurt in trying right well, guys, if this video did help you out, please, I would love to see that like. Uh, also, if you are enjoying my content, make sure you come back and uh, visit. I would love to have you as a subscriber, so hit that subscribe button. This is Pun, the Frugal Streamer. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you later.